Today's topic is puberphonia. Puberphonia is a type of voice disorder that is defined by the regular use of a high-pitched voice after puberty. Puberphonia is characterized by an inability to transition into the lower-pitched voice of adulthood. It is also referred to as functional falsetto or mutational falsetto. During puberty, a dramatic change happens to the laryngeal mechanism both in males and females, resulting in a decrease in pitch. During this change, the male voice deepens or lowers about one octave, and the female voice deepens or lowers by a few semitones. The average pitch of an adult male typically falls between 85 and 180 hertz, and an adult female falls between 165 and 255 hertz. When this change does not occur or take place, an individual is said to have puberphonia. This occurs in both male and females, but occurs more frequently in males. Causes The cause of the disorder may be both psychological or psychogenic or biological in nature. However, biological causes are rare in males, while the psychogenic causes are more prevalent. Psychogenic causes may include a delay in the development of secondary sex characteristics, emotional stress, Biological causes may include incoordination of muscle, vocal fold asymmetries, muscle tension of the laryngeal, non-fusion of the thyroid laminae, congenital anomalies of the larynx, symptoms, high pitch, shallow breathing, weak or hoarse voice, low intensity, throat and neck tension, pitch breaks, diagnosis. Patients will usually seek help as they get very uneasy with the disorder and its social implications. The speech pathologist will evaluate the voice and vocal output habits. Treatment Treatment includes speech therapy, direct and indirect, and psychotherapy. For the direct therapy, the disorder is treated by using vocal exercises which are carried out by a speech-language pathologist, or SLP or a speech therapist with experience in treating voice disorders. The treatment commonly lasts from one to two weeks. Techniques used include humming while sliding down the scale. In this technique, the patient is asked to start humming at the highest pitch that can be reached and then keeps lowering the pitch as humming continues. This allows such patients to relax the laryngeal muscle and helps to practice the use of a lower pitch. Cough. The patient coughs as pressure is applied to the Adam's apple. This results in the vocal folds being shortened. This is the physiological mechanism that reduces pitch. Laryngeal musculature relaxation. A reduced pressure on the vocal folds is achieved when the laryngeal muscles that surround it are relaxed. This can be done by yawning and subsequently sighing, singing, or speaking the M word and by chewing while speaking. Lowering of the larynx to appropriate position. When the larynx is lowered, the vocal folds are relaxed and thus pitch is lowered. This is done by the patient applying pressure on the Adam's apple while speaking. Boom technique. The patient says boom just after swallowing. The technique is repeated with the patient making a head turn to either side while the chin is also being lowered. This helps to completely close the vocal folds. Surgical intervention can be considered in cases where voice exercises are ineffective. Different types of surgical procedures have been successful in people, especially men, with puberphonia. Relaxation thyroplasty is one of such surgical procedures. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.